tell you where the fish are. Triple, triple. Get in there. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah man. Bam. Bam. Come on. Make it clear. 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 Make it Everybody, Chris Schaefer with Potsky Outdoors. Today we're coming to you from Northern Ontario. This area is littered with some of the best fishing in North America. And today we're gonna specifically target splink. We're out here with several colors of fire diamond. You know, you're gonna see gold, you're gonna see blue, you're gonna see chartreuse. We're doing two things. One, we're tipping them on jigs. The other thing we're doing is just putting them on a hook and letting them swim down through the ice. You're gonna see some of the largest splink in the province come up here and just hammer these things. So let's get back out on the ice and show you how easy it is to bring fire dye minnows and catch quality splay. We'll be back. Oh! What is it? It's a splay. It's not, it's not huge, but it's nice. Got Beauty. one, son. Hello, buddy. Oh. I've only been here like five minutes. Yep. I'm messing around today. I ain't taking no prisoners. Awesome. Oh, I saw that bite. Whoo! Oh! Woohoo! Okay, folks, that's a nice average size. Looking for the big ones, but it's a beautiful speck. They're just so full of life. Here in Northern Ontario. There we go, folks. Beautiful. It's Blake. It's a dove. The nice colors on him. Oh, yeah. And he still has some of that brine coming out of him. Look at a, uh, I had a uh, chartreuse blind me uh, brine meno. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Sorry, what's going on? I've been jigging for probably five minutes and I just saw this guy just come in and just absolutely whack it. There he is, nice little sway. He's oh, he's crazy at the top of the hole. There you go. It's so hard to get a hold of. Barely oh. that nice fat. That one is chubby. Yeah, too. nice chubby splake. Look at that. Ooh. Beautiful colors on him. Well, we'll get him back down. I was just using a, a tube jig with the with the red fire dyed minnow. And uh, yeah, we'll get this guy back. You're gonna catch a lot more. So much fun. Okay. Just had a nice bite. This is what it is. Using fire dye, oh, chartreuse. We got a double. Is yours a big one, Rich? It's a nice one. Landon, uh, he's got a big one too. Right on. I'll be there as quick as I can. This one feels good. Triple. We got a triple. One there. One in there. One right here. This stuff is like. It's like magic. My gosh. Look at the size of this baby coming out, oh. boys. Look at this. Ooh. Look at this beauty. That's a tank right there, too. Look at that. Woo! Ho -ho! Look at this, boys. Wow. I got a tank on, too. Okay, go grab it. Right, we're going to go through his. <laughs> triple! Triple! Oh, man. Is it still on? Yeah, I got a huge one. Like, this is this is a bruiser of a splake. Like, this is probably like, look at the size of the splake. You still see it? Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, look man. That. Yes. Holy moly. Look at that. Yes. Oh. Oh. Look at the size of that. <laughs> no way. What a beaut. What a beautiful splake. Man, those those red fire dyed minnows are just on fire. Wow. You can't get much better than that. Look at the nice little kipe on them. Beautiful splake from Northern Ontario, let me tell you. Yeah. Oh man, we're gonna get him unhooked and we're gonna get right back down there and see if we can get another one. Perfect. Man, look at that.
All right, so we're out here. We're gonna dye our bait for the day today. Today we're gonna be running mostly uh, live live minnows. They're mostly just dace, kind of a variety of sizes. Everything we're doing, we're gonna do in live bait and fire dye. So we're gonna do four different colors today. Um, and how we're doing it? So we got four buckets on the go here. Uh, we got one of these four ounce bottles of fire dye. We're gonna use one bottle in each thing of bait. So. And we've got from anywhere from one to three dozen minnows, depending on the size in each bucket. So we mix these about four ounces of fire dye to about 12 ounces of water. So about like three bottles of this water to one bottle of dye. So it's fairly concentrated, but that like that concentrated the dye in water, these suckers will take uh, the dye in maybe half an hour. So they'll be ready to fish in no time. Uh, so with that, all we're doing, we've got them all in different buckets here. Uh, having them on oxygen is important because there's so little water in there. Once it dies in there, you need them on oxygen or else they um, generally don't tend to last. So here, this one, we're just gonna dump a bottle of blue dye in here. And it's all eyeballed, but I tried to do about, like I say, three parts water to one part dye. So those minnows, we'll leave them in there about half an hour. So we got the blue. Next one we're doing, actually we just, we've got these in here. We put them in here about 15 minutes ago uh, in the chartreuse. These ones are already taking color. They've been in the dye maybe 15 minutes. So another 15 minutes, they'll be ready to fish. We got those going so we can fish right away. Next one here, we're using gold fire dye. That one's rigged up, ready to go. We just get the dye in there. And those gold ones are ready. And in this last bucket, we're gonna do something in red. So, and just a note, this bucket, this is probably my least favorite one if you're doing this. It's, uh, it's a lot bigger, so even that little amount of water, the minnows are barely out of the water. So if you can get something tall and narrow, it works real well. Um, because then you've got, your minnows can move a little more, and you can get that concentrated dye and water in there without, you know, adding too much water or having it like this, where it's really spread out. Um, so that's it. So these are going to sit half an hour, and uh, we're ready to fish. Alright, so here's our uh, minnows that we're using today. These have been dying for about an hour see they're fully dyed lively ready to go these are the blue blue fire dye can't keep them well that shows you how blue that is yeah they're always real lively i mean look how good that takes that color okay and then these ones right here these ones are the chartreuse oh man Really bright. Yeah, those are those are perfect. Now that they've only been in here about about an hour, so it don't take long at all. Tell if it's good or not. Is it close? It's getting there. Oh, here it is. So outside today we're mostly focusing on uh, fire dyed minnows, but in here I'm trying to switch it up a little bit and I'm using some fire brine minnows. Um, so I just got myself a bag of, uh, of dead minnows that I've been collecting throughout the winter. Um, so anyway, when they die I just throw them in a Ziploc bag and I throw the fire brine on them. And I have some red fire brine in here. Um, so basically all I do when I'm jigging is I'll take, grab myself a minnow, pretty slippery. So I'll grab myself a minnow. That's what they look like, they look beautiful. They can be reused like 
as many times as, as many times as you need them to. So I just take this tube jig and I just tip it on there. So I'll just grab it. We're just getting bites like crazy today. And I'll hook it in through the back, just like that, through the backbone. And that just adds a little bit of uh, a little bit of meat on there, a little bit of scent, some flavor. And I drop it all the way down to the bottom and they just can't handle it. Okay, so I just saw one come in and take it here. I don't know how big it is, but... Oh, yes! Holy moly! Oh my gosh, this guy's got some weight to him. Oh, this is gonna be a nice fish. This is, he, is, is he still down like 30 feet or is he coming up? I think he's... Yeah, he should be down. He's, he's pretty far down. This is a big fish. Holy moly. Man, he feels so heavy. Wow. I, I just changed up. I just, I just put on a red firebrand minnow, a, a, a dead minnow on a tube jig, and he just came in and hit it right away. This guy's got Tell me when he gets close. Is he yeah. close? Yeah, he's pretty close now. Close? I think, I think he is. Let's see. He's, uh, he's oh, there he is. Holy! Oh, he's God. a tank! That's a bruiser. He's a tank! That spike! Oh my gosh! Oh my god, look at the size of the mouth on him! Wow! Wow! He just inhaled that firebrine minnow! Oh, here he comes! Oh my here he comes! Gosh. No look way! Size of... Holy crap, look at the size of that spike! Oh. Man, they're so hard to get it! There Got you him. go! Yes! <laughs> what a the monster! Size of that spike right there! Wow! Wow! Big male spike! Nice. I didn't even know they got that big! <laughs> Man, I'm speechless. Wow. That's just a bruiser. Come up here in Northern Ontario. Is that a hook jaw and everything yeah, almost? Yeah, he's got a kite on him. Wow. Yeah, come up to Northern Ontario, catch Blake like that, that's insane. Wow. Get a shot of that tube jig in his mouth. Had it tipped with a firebrine minnow. Is a minnow left over there? Yeah, yeah minnow I'm not too sure, he might already yeah. ate it. Perfect. Jeez. Well, you think you can get a bigger one? <laughs> we'll find out soon, that's insane. Nice. I think that's a Is he on, you think? Just messing with it? it did he grab it? Swing when you're ready. Bam! Tom, we got yours right here! Is he pulling drag? Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Landon, dad's got a nice one. Can, did you see just see it? He's a headbanger. Do I this one here? Oh yeah. It's, I don't know how big, but it's it's a bit bigger than those little ones. Fighting pretty darn well. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, I like hearing that. Oh, that's gotta be a big fish. He swam that way. Oh yeah, there it is. Nice. There it is. Nice, Blake. Landon, go right to the other side. Just move yourself just a tiny bit. There you go. It's almost like he can't get through the hole, practically. Look at his head. Oh, yeah. There it is. Nice oh, fish. my gosh. That's a tank. Oh, my goodness. Is that the one you saw? It's got to be. It's massive. That's a bruiser. He just can't get his head over to this Where's side. Huh? Here he is. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Ooh, oh. I can't even wait, see wait, him. Wait, wait. I can't even wait, see him. Wait, wait. Look, he's got the chartreuse oh, minnow in his mouth. Oh. He's got the chartreuse in his there mouth. There we go. Whoa. That fish. <laughs> That's the beauty. <laughs> yes. Right on, oh. Dad. Look at that. That thing's a wow. Oh. <laughs> what a gorgeous splay. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the size of that oh, thing. Oh man. You wow. Can look here. This is what you can it. see the chartreuse. Chartreuse right has been my my bait for no today, boy. No way. What a beautiful splay. Yes. Come nice. up to northern Ontario and you catch beauties just like that. Wow. Is, is that bigger than the last one? Not too Look at his belly right. though. Look at the belly. <laughs> yeah. that, that thing's been eaten. <laughs> They're so healthy and nice. Place. So for rigs, we're running a couple of things. So I've been running uh, set lines with just single uh, live fire dyed minnows. And those I'm just hooking with like a little single pink hook or a single treble behind the dorsal for our set lines. My jigging line we've been using, all I've been using all day is my tube jigs tip with uh, fire dyed minnow. So this one, this is a blue fire dyed minnow. I think the color of this thing is just crazy. This tube's been chewed up pretty good. But So these these tubes, I mean any kind of three inch white tube I've been running, um, hooking the minnow on there. This one's going to be a little harder because it's kind of tore up. But I'll hook them on there and then actually pull the uh, 
body of the tube over top of that a bit. Kind of holds your bait in there, holds it on a little bit better. I like the action of it. And then you're getting that, the kind of added bonus of the bait on there, but it's it stays on a lot better. And then I'm putting a, a stinger, either tying your own stinger on or clipping a stinger on, and it's uh, then you don't miss as many fish. So that bait has just been awesome. So throw it down there. And you, you see that vibrant blue in the water is just awesome. So and on this one, I've been running, uh, this one's got 12 pound braid for the main line, and then I'll run like a 12 inch fluorocarbon leader under a tiny little lance so we'll see your line doesn't twist all up. And this is what I've caught a lot of the fish on today. We've actually got a number of fish on this tube jig with a minnow on it, and guys leaving it as a set line when they're not jigging and catching fish on these stationary tube jigs uh, with these fire dyed minnows. So it's a bit different, but it's been working and uh, it's been awesome. Okay, so this is epic. <laughs> um, I'm kind of vibrating right now. <laughs> um, we just, uh, we were doing some footage to show the, the I can't even talk, it's so <laughs> insane. The live, um, <sighs> live fire dyed uh, minnows on a tube jig. We were jigging with the GoPro right underneath the ice, like six inches under <laughs> the ice. Chris said, we gotta catch a fish like this. I said something smart, because we probably weren't. This tank of a splake came underneath there, smoked my tube jig, just so it gave me a heart attack. Oh my God. I lost it. He came around, swiped out about three more times, and hit it literally in the hole. While we were filming. We got it on the GoPro. <laughs> it is gonna be insane. Like, no way. Oh, that was unbelievable. Wow. Incredible fish. I'm not sure if you can tell, I'm a little excited. That was insane. That was Do you think so we can cool. do that again? Yeah. <laughs> this thing was just ballistic. You, that go, I want to see this video. Me too. But it's going to be cool. Wow. So Tom just caught that beauty and I just came in and dropped it right down and got one right away. He's right up at the hole. Oh. Yeah. Here he is. That's not a bad one. No, it's not a bad one at all. So we're out here today fishing a Northern Ontario Stocks Blake Lake. So it's been a lot of fun. A really cool trip. We've got a ton of fish. We've caught some absolute beauties. Um, so we're fishing this lake. This is the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources that stocks these fish. They stock a number of fish. They stock brook trout, uh, rainbow trout, and these splake. Uh, it's, it's like a put and take fishery. So they're put here for anglers to catch. It's open all winter. Um, and these splake, they're a hybrid between uh, brook trout and lake trout. So they're a really fun fish to catch, really aggressive. Uh, they're an absolute blast. So this is something you can find out. MNR provides these stocking lists, so you can find it on MNR's Fish Online site, or you can get stocking lists from the office. And we basically take the map, take the stocking lists, and pick a place to go. So it's a really fun way to explore, and you can catch a ton of fish. And we've been having an absolute blast today. <laughs> 